fan, Rudy. I was gonna stay off YouTube and then I'm just like, like the truth is you guys actually like, the, at night the routine of just like talking to you guys, like unwinding and talking to you guys. Um, just the, like the love and support I get from you guys, I guess is kind of addictive and I'm used to it now when I go through things in my life. So I just wanted to come on here. I just, I, like I know there might be like hateful people, but whatever, I'm just maybe looking for comfort from you guys, honestly. Yeah, so my mom, my grandmother did pass away. Um, not long after I got there, actually. Oh my God. Um, and then so I said, Grandma, you can go. It's Chantel and I love you. And um, I swear, like, cause she, her mouth had been open the whole time breathing. You know how you get, how they get before death? That's the only time of the night after I said that she closed her mouth like, and opened it like she wanted to say something. And then literally we watched her take her last breath. Like literally that moment, I swear to God. And I swear to God, I don't know if I'm like delirious, but I was laying on the couch with Pete's here and then BBJ walked on me and I swear to God, I got a whiff of how she smelt in the hospital. Like, I don't know, this sounds so weird, but death has a smell. Like death smell, it has like, it's like a sweet smell. And I got a whiff of that when BBJ walked on me and my grandmother always loved BBJ. <laughs> and I just, like, I got chills right now. Like, I just, I just know, I don't know, I just know she's somewhere. And I'm just gonna tell myself that anyways. <sighs> oh, thanks guys. No, I just also wanted to thank you guys. Yeah, for, I mean, for all the love and support you're giving me, like, it means a lot. It really does, for, for sure, like, you know, for sure. It's like we're just strangers on the internet, but at the same time, you build bonds with people, you know, even if it's just virtual. So I do feel a uh, sense of support from you guys. And, yeah, I felt like being um, alone, like, away from, like, the real people. <laughs> but, like, whoever I'm living with, obviously, is different, you know. If I'm living with you, it means I can tolerate you, like. You don't want to be around people, but luckily I don't count as people. That's right. It makes me want to do the opposite. Like, in her honor, <laughs> you know. Because I know it would kill her to see otherwise. Yeah, I hope, you know. My grandma helped raise me, Laura, yeah. Yeah, she was like a second mom for me. My grandma has just myself and my sister, her grandkids. So, but she wasn't, she's not close to my, like, she's, I don't want to say not close to my sister, but not, not really close to my sister. <laughs> um, I'm extremely close to my grandmother. We're like kindred spirits, you know. Do not numb your feelings and let yourself feel them. It's so important. Uh, Liliana, I did have some edibles. Oh. Is that what you mean by numb them? Yeah, if I, di if I didn't numb them, it would be so painful. I go home and numb the pain with beezing, uh, edibles, and pizza. So I ordered pizza. Ma, welcome to Very Important Beezers. Ready, set, beez. <laughs> Massage on my shoulders right now. Oh my gosh. Mm. I was just saying that. <laughs> but you're a good friend. You were going to give me a massage. Brooke, I was going to go to my mom's, but I just wanted to be like alone and like, I actually like really wanted to come on here and like just like hang with you guys. <laughs> I know it sounds, does that sound weird? I don't know. I was telling Pizza, I'm like, I just really want to like go live and hang out with. You guys, because I was craving your, like, I don't know, comfort and support and catalicious, yeah. I sound like a live stream addict, I know, but there's something addictive about, not just addictive, maybe it is addictive, but I don't know. Hi, Misha. I couldn't wait to get home for my, like, comfort measures. You guys, the edibles, the food, maybe it's not healthy, but right now that's what I'm using. Your poop. <laughs> yeah, my cat, oh my gosh, my cat, yes. <laughs> Hi, Kristen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, obviously, I know there's gonna be haters. It's okay. My fragile little mind can handle it during this emotional time. Hold on, I have to ask, I have to talk to Pete about something private. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pearly Steel. Pearly Steel is a beezer. <laughs> My God, Carly! Welcome to very important beezers. Ready, set, beez.
Carly, thank you for joining. Okay, I have a question. Do you think I'll make any money on OnlyFans if I show my vagina? If I show my vagina? What? Don't give me the side eye. Please, for real, don't just butter me up. What do I have to show? <laughs> Shit, do you think my grandmother can hear what I do now? I'm gonna be paranoid all the time that she's gonna be able to see everything. <laughs> I show everything and do everything. But I know a lot of people who just do lingerie and make a lot of money. Yeah, but I don't know, like... What do you mean, do everything? Do you mean, like... Is there, like, a, like, blowjobs? Like, like, what are you doing? Like, sorry. sorry. I'm just curious. Some people do that. Some people have full-on sex. <laughs> you guys are like, how are you talking about this right now? Some people are you just crying your eyes out? On, uh, on only fan stuff. They do what? Some people have full-on sex videos on OnlyFans. So it's like a porn site. Aren't you in mourning? Yes, I am in mourning. <laughs> You're gonna have to start living to make your grams proud now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Believe me. I never felt grief like I've felt tonight. Like, you actually feel like your heart is, like, broken. Like, it hurts. If I show my vagina? Uh, I'm sorry for your loss, but broken heart syndrome is a real thing. Yeah, that's, I've heard something like that. Yeah, Carly, that's what it is. Broken heart syndrome. <sighs> Except you seem the same. Well, what do you want me to do? Transform into a caterpillar? Transform into a butterfly, I mean? Am I supposed to go through a metamorphosis or something? That's crazy. Everybody grieves in more than like their own pro in their own way, you know. I'm just acting natural. I'm not gonna fake cry when I don't feel like crying. Hmm. I have a heaviness in my heart now. That wasn't there before. Thank you for joining! Okay, I have a question. Do you think I'll make any money on OnlyFans if I show my vagina? If I show my vagina? Pizza stolen M&M's. Welcome to Very Important Pieces. Raise that pizza! <laughs> Amelia. Every time I say X, 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 X. Lily Tam, why is looking for human compassion from others always seen in such a negative way as insidious, as some having some ulterior motive? Why? Why be so negative? Do you think I will make any money on OnlyFans if I show my vagina? Cat T, welcome to Very Important Beezers. Ready, set, bees. Don't you, Grams? That's how I talk to my Grams. Every time I call my grandmother. <coughs> Hello. Hey, Grams! <laughs> I'm glad Pete's here, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why I'm like, I'm not completely alone. I have my cats. Now. <sighs> Admittedly. I, again, really wanted to go, you know, see Don. I thought, uh, you know what, Accountable Beauty, I was going to take a break because I thought that it's what I would need, but it's actually the opposite, I think, is what I need. See, Lorelai, welcome to Rainbow Beezers! Ready, shit, bees! Like, they're not, they're, they're treating me like shit, but you don't have a problem with that? Like, you think I'm just, like, blocking them for no reason? Like, oh, I hate my members. I don't value my members. I'm going to block them for no reason. No, there's always a fucking reason. So, <laughs> like, do you not understand that? Do, 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 does not compute. Lily Cham. Welcome to Very Important Beezers. Ready, set, beez. <clears throat> and 
I just want a baby with the right one. Is that what he says, the weekend? Maybe there won't be any pizza left. Sorry, Grams. <laughs> you ever cry so, like, you ever cry until you feel like you're gonna shit, puke, and pass out at the same time? Like, that is fucking, like, ugh. To understand my mentality of what I share on my channel and when, I think we have to, like, move away from the mentality that people see a uh, YouTube channel as a place that should not be an outlet, uh, such as, like, a diary or somewhere to just, like, open up freely or, like, you know what I mean? And because they think it's, like, detrimental to the mental health. But for some people, I think the reverse is true because for me, I find it, like, cathartic in a way to, like, release what I want to say, like, you know what I mean? I don't know if, like, that's the right word for it. Lily Cham, yes, I do get attention and money as well. Those are also perks of being a YouTuber. Absolutely, you're right. But, <clears throat> thank you, Black Lady. I'm not going to let that be enough motive to um, compromise my morals. Sometimes I cross the line, but... Do you think I will make any money on OnlyFans if I show my vagina? Oh my god, there's too many arseholes in this chat. Don't you want to comfort your mother? You don't know our dynamic, okay? Like, we were together, pretty much just the two of us. My sister, too, but mostly just my mom and I together, like, intimately with my grandmother, and we bonded and we spent a lot of time together. And I just want to grieve by myself. I don't see you guys as real people. I don't want to be around real people. Please. Like, I remember her, like, just replaying when her, she's taking her last breath. Over and over in my head. It's just unbelievable to me that somebody who, uh... I don't know, is... A person, like a whole person. The whole history, 79 years. We're in 1942, in the middle of fucking World War... That's in the middle of World War Two, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like... By the way, you want to help me with my time warps? Okay. Well, that would earn your rent. Half of the rent. It's true! I don't know, help me creatively with them. Uh, you know, if I need you to stir a sauce or something, I don't know. Oh, ancient history? Yeah, somehow I can't really see you putting on a toga, and... I don't, I don't even know what kind of, uh... You can't see me putting on a toga? Really? I suppose. <laughs> oh my god, my hairline's hideous! Woo! I'm hyper now. <laughs> I go through mood phases so quick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hi, X, X, H, S, X, X. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hope your night is going well, too. <laughs> I need to, like, escape just for... Just wanted to... I, uh, I'm, I can't. Like, my heart's broken. Do you think I will make any money on OnlyFans if I show my vagina? Desiree, welcome to Very Important Beezers. Ready, set, ease. Oh, Balloon Bear, welcome to Very Important Beezers. Ready, set, ease. <laughs> no, nobody stole the wallet. I think I dropped it. Uh, or left it. I think I dropped it on the ground under a booth at Red Lobster. Because we had dinner. What? I swear, I thought, I swear that's what I thought happened. <laughs> Nobody stole my wallet, you guys. <laughs> Whatever. You guys are so fucking nosy. You know that? Do you know how nosy these people are? <clears throat> I mean, I used to do like 500 milligrams, so... Um, 150 is a cutback. And do what I always do. Yeah, so? <clears throat> That's my life. Leave it alone. Sexercise ball? <laughs> I like that name. Will you ever change? I don't know, like... Do you think I will make any money on OnlyFans? If I show my vagina? So, anyway... Can we do a cook with me? Oh, Lambo. Oh my god. You guys, wait till you see my schedule. I worked hard on it. I worked really hard on it. I worked really hard on it. 
I did a lot of it. I did, well, a chunk of it I finished at the hospital. Um, there were long periods of time, like hours, where I would just be like laying there holding her hand and like with one hand just like making the schedule on my thing. You guys are very critical. <laughs> you do overshare, but people make up ridiculous rumors. Desiree, they do. They make up the most ridiculous rumors. I gotta deal with this big heaping pile of crap. <laughs> oh. oh, I gotta leave my grandmother a pizza, pizza. <laughs> Grandma, I'm lazy. <laughs> What? <laughs> help yourself. She can help yourself, Gramps. <laughs> I'm tempted to like once you go to bed, I'm tempted to like come down and throw out one slice. <laughs> and then you're like <gasps> <laughs> Oh my god, I would freak right the fuck out. <laughs> because I would never in a million years think that Pete would eat it. You should have done that. <laughs> I don't want to be mean to you like that. Oh uh, yeah, that would be that would make me think that like believe in like the afterlife and everything. <laughs> that would be a big deal, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then I reveal that it was a prank, and you'd be all upset. Oh my fuck yes! And it's from Boston Pizza, and there's bottles of water laying around on the counter. So feel free to help yourself. I'm not putting it on a plate, Penelope Ranchers. Smells like Tide. <clears throat> My fupa smells like Tide. <laughs> and like Tide Pods, something you don't want to put in your mouth. You're a jerk. <laughs> forget about those. Forget about those old losers. They don't matter. <laughs> what the hell, God logic? Your old, your old kids were crap. These new kids are way better. That's creator logic. Not thinking of how it really affects us. <laughs> Hi. You can't jump up because of your pizza. No, you can't. You mean chubby you speezer? No. Chubby you speezer. <laughs> the song Bruises by Chairlift is possibly the sweetest song I've ever heard about blowjobs. I don't think anyone's gonna like me after tonight. I don't know why anyone likes it to begin with. Bust a gut. <laughs> poor Graham. Oh, yes, poor Graham. Well, I'm sure she'd be happy that you honor her life by laughing at your Mediterranean pizza farts. <laughs> she actually hated when I laughed at farts. She said it was rude. Because <laughs> she used to fart and say nothing about it. You know how like elderly people do? Maybe in the grocery store and she'd be like, Burr. and then I'd be like, Grams, and she'd be like, Chantal, it's rude to laugh at, uh, at that. I always do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the best is, the best is I'm not trying to fart in front of my family, so whatever we're together I like to do is silent but deadly, or also known as AKA SBD. Duck. I like to do a silent fart. Release the, the noxious gases. Hey. And then just wait for the reaction. But I start laughing first, so they're talking and looking at me. <laughs> and they're just talking normal. So the minute I can start smelling it, I know that their face is going to change. So it makes me start laughing. <laughs> so I start laughing like that. And then they all go like this. <laughs> no, they see my face and then they look all paranoid like, oh no. <laughs> 
what's going on? Why is she laughing? And then they have this like moment of like awareness of the situation and they're like, <laughs> and then it hits. <laughs> and they're like, ah! Oh! And it makes me laugh that I gross them out because I'm immature. And I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just going to go to sleep. So thanks for tuning in and keeping me a bit of company. It did help a bit, actually. And, um... Do you think I will make any money on OnlyFans if I show my vagina? <laughs>